today we are playing Crash Arena Turbo Stars, aka Cats. It is the super adorable game that I just started playing today, that it just came out today from Septo Labs. It is adorable, and as you know, I love all kitty things, and this is in no doubt not an exception. I have been playing this all day since I saw that the registration thing, you know, had gone through and that the game was out. I am obsessed. Um, so actually right now I just came back into the game and it says that my machine has defended myself 12 times. And I know that probably makes no sense whatsoever, um, but I um, basically what that means is like a part of this game is going up the rankings in this championship. So kind of the backstory of the game is our uncle gave us our first little car so we can um, battle with it. And oh my gosh, things went bye bye. Our uncle gave us a car so we could battle in the arenas, and you know, it's our birthday, so we're making our way through. And there's different stages. Um, basically, you're moving up the rings, and I've been playing all day, so like I've made it. I've made my way through the first four stages. I'm in stage five right now, but like we have a car that we customize and basically add more gizmos and weapons to it to be able to go above in the in the ranks and um, defeat our you know our opponents. Um, so like I've in this first section, it was basically just wooden parts for our machine uh, for our little car, and now that I've made myself into the fifth um, stage metal parts are coming into play. So we're gonna get different types of um, parts starting in stage six. Um, or actually, you probably see them already in uh, right now. Um, we will find out when I do some uh, some box openings. And as you can see, there's many stages to move up, you know, across the stages. I do find it interesting that it says that the port championship is over in a day and three hours. So I don't know if like basically the progress that I've made so far just goes bye bye in a day and three hours and maybe it just starts all over again and then you have to again make your way through um so th that i find very interesting i wonder if that's how they're going to keep the game going you know for the relative future it definitely keeps it exciting maybe it's because the game actually came out a day early because it's supposed to come out on the 20th um but i know the developers are in russia so that would have been 4 p.m central in um um, today if they were going by their time but so I'm not sure maybe just launched early um, either way this game has been really exciting so let me show you what I mean by we have a car and we can customize it oh look in that little time I defended my title again because in the championship um, which I totally skipped um, there are different people that we're fighting um, we're competing against to just get better and I just started on, on stage five and I had tried and I only beat two people um, as you can see there's different people on this ranking and in order to advance to the next stage you have to win 14 times that is kind of the, that's a requirement to move forward you can beat everyone but one and you can still not you know go to the next stage you have to beat everybody and the people here change as they move out of this stage so you're always meeting you know playing against different people so let's go through it and see how how I fare which is actually um, with my current setup um, I, I don't think I'm gonna do so well as you can see I got tumbled over because the wheel in front is much bigger and before I was using um, a different um, accessory which wasn't making me tip over but the flipper also flips me over um, which is not great um, so we won't go through all of them um, but theoretically, if I was speeding them, I would be able to make my way all, you know, as high as I could. Um, but hopefully with the boxes that I unbox, I can make it further up. Um, so, as you can see, this is my little, my little car. Had little stickers flinged out. And you can choose different body types for your car. Um, we have this one, which is considered the classic. And this one, which is the surfer type. We have this, which is also a sneaky. Oh, yeah. Classic, surfer, sneaky. And the one cool thing to note is that even though both of these are surfers, 
the attachments are different. So the, uh, these square attachments over here in the, in the corners on this one mean that you can put um, attachments such as um, flippers and um, boosters to take you in different directions. Um, the little pentagon shaped ones, those are for your weapons. So if you can see on my car right now, um, if I, oh, not, not touching the sticker. If I touch the weapon that I have on, you can see that it's attached to one of those pentagon shaped um, lugs. And if I move this forklift, it's on a square. So I can't put a weapon, I can't move the saw onto that square because it doesn't, it doesn't work well. It, you know, it, it doesn't fit there. So um, the other types we have is uh, the boulder. And finally, well, we also have the titan, which is what I'm using. Um, and weapons types, we have rocket launchers, we have the blade, which actually I'm very fond of right now. We have the laser, which I just unlocked, uh, which is really cool. Um, I, I see lots of potential in it. Um, we have the chainsaw. As you can see, I have not really upgraded my stuff because I, I feel like I did a lot of mistakes playing this morning. We also have the stinger um, and the drill. And we have several types of wheels. I won't, uh, you know, go through all the wheels, but we have several types of wheels. And what's interesting to know, like this one that, you know, has this purple on top, you can see it has a boost and it has a heart. So it's a boost to health on a sneaky type body. So that's really good to know. On this one, see it's, um, it does a hundred, you know, it's life a hundred to a sneaky. Um... Oh, there's conditional ones too, like um, one of the blades that I really enjoy, um, this one, which I've been upgrading, um, it does 42% when it's on a tight end. So if it's, um, you can see that it's stre base strength is 28, but when I put it on my tight end, it's 39. So as I, you know, and actually dip down because the new blade I'm using actually bumps it up um, by one. Um, but yes, um, I, I really like the blade. So there's different attachments on up here. You can actually toggle between the different attachments. So actually this last one would take you to the attachments that, um, like the boosters. Um, well, this is a back pedal. This is a booster to take you in the other direction. And these repulls, if an enemy touches you, it makes them bounce back, which is really handy um, if you're having issues with them bumping into you. Um, and can, you know, serve as line of defense. We have the wheels on this one. On um, this other one is where we have our weapons, and um, that. And then we have the uh, this one for our body. And actually, I believe our forklift, if removed, uh, if I could touch it, if removed, the forklift is in the slot slot. So the way you can think about it is we have our bodies, we have our weapons, which go in that pentagon shape one we have the wheels which of course you can you don't have to have wheels you can actually go wheelless and that still works um and uh, and then we have you know the square attachments okay so another component for this game is you can do bets so actually oh look this one's ending in 45 seconds this is great example so you can bet your parts um, based on who's fighting. You can choose which of these persons you think is actually gonna win. He has 50, uh, 56 um, health and 18, um, 18 strength. Another one has 58 health and 12 strength. But you also have to look at what kind of um, attachment and what they have set. I mean, I kind of think this one would win. So I can choose any of my weapons to kind of throw in at, into my bet and basically saying, I think they'll win. Um, whenever the timer comes off, um, you can either win or lose. And if you win, you get the bonus that says in the bottom, and also you can get these kitties, um, these blue kitties that help you in your ranking. Um, the ones that are really worth it are these down, this one down here, which um, they actually take longer to occur. But as you can see, 6% bonus, like if I put that on my blade one, that would be really good. And actually look, the battle is ready. 
um, a lot of people went with the one that I voted for. That's sometimes a good indicator of which one you should bet for. But sometimes even the one that, you know, people bet for is not the one that wins. That happened to me earlier and I almost lost my attachment had it not been for the fact that they give you a pity one in which you can... See? I just lost. I lost, even though it was the person that everybody was going for. Um, so in this case, I would lose this attachment and thankfully I had not put anything into this attachment but I can get it back if I were to pay three gems and since I haven't used it I am NOT going to spend any gems on that because I actually want to get better stuff um, so yes that's very sad that I lost but you know it shows example of what happens um, if you were to lose um, another cool, uh, cool thing is if you do quick fights, um, you can skip who you're fighting. Um, basically you want to get into intervals of five. Every time you hit a five interval, you get a special box with a little crown on it that you can unlock. And here, this one, um, I actually don't have wheels, so this would be interesting. But I don't think, I kind of don't think I could win, so I can skip this. I don't know beat that one either this one I think I could beat this one but as you can see there it, it cost um, coins um, which I, I do have a little bit amount right now but it costs coins to skip them and as you can see win a streak of 10 oh well, I'm on a current streak of 10 and if I get to 15 I get a crown um, so let's tap to watch ah. so he went down, thankfully. It was close though. I needed my wheels. Um, so now I have an 11 um, win streak. So that's very handy if you have extra coins. But I mean, you want to do these quick fights to get, you know, these blue cats um, that actually help you with your ranking. So right now I am in this, um, th the bottom ranking, I believe it is. And you can see that everybody's been playing. Every, you know, so currently I am number eight on here and trying to get higher up so I can go to the next um, tier. But yes, it you know, oh, actually in this ends in three hours, so in three hours I could get seven gems. So this is very fast paced. Um, and now talk, you know, to talk about the boxes I was mentioning. These boxes right here, all of them contain um, weapons and bodies and things that we need um, to be able to progress in the game. and. Even though the game does give you some um, for free, um, like right this, um, you know, I need to pay one gem if I want to open it because it hasn't finished on its own. Um, so we might wait on that one for a little bit. Um, but another thing is, I um, you can whenever they're still on this countdown, you can um, expedite the time by playing an ad. Um, but you can only do 20 ads a day. Um, well, I don't know if tomorrow it'll reset and give you 20 more, t you know, 20 more ads that you can watch. But at least for today, on my first day, you had, you were able to do 20 ads, and they reduce 30 minutes into the time of the box, which comes in really, really handy. Um, so another component is that you can play with friends. If you have friends on your Facebook and you connect your Facebook, you can see them and you can play against them, which is really cool. Um, and then on this little cat on the corner, you can see the settings. There's different things that you can add um, on to power up your your cat. Your, um, you can you know add give you know get bonus coins from selling parts, or just um, make your stingers um, do more damage. Um, as you can see, I did that whenever I thought I was going to be using more stingers. So it might be better to just hold off on using your coins um, than just spending them all at the same time. Um, at least that's what I'll be doing, you know, going forward. Um, I mean, you, you know, you learn as you go. So while this one's coming down, um, let's open a... The, we have different types of boxes. We have this one without a crown, this two hour one. We have the super box. So this one's just called a regular box and it says stage five that's the stage i'm on before it says it said stage four but whenever i progress to the next stage it actually changed which is cool and then the super box 
it allow it gives us eight parts which you can tell right here in this corner that you know it says eight parts and at least one of them will be a super part which is cool and it tells me that another unlock is happening in, um, right now so you can only do one at a time um, but I can open it out with 30 gems um, this one right here is a regular box but it has a crown which is one that I got from my streak so it's very curious to see maybe I'll get better stuff out of the crown one so what I want to do is I'm gonna open the regular box we'll see what I get and then compare it to what we got from the other boxes so okay so we got a four star blade it has 24 attack um, and it costs seven one thing to know about the power the um, the bolt um, with a seven is that you need to make sure that the body that you're putting on has enough gauges for that because uh, I was having issues that one of the bodies I was trying to use it didn't have enough power slots for um, the blade that I was trying to use so I had to upgrade it or you know get a different one um, so now we got a knob which is a wheel um, three stars and it has 25 health And now we got a Bigfoot. Ugh, these wheels are so big, but it, it serves a purpose, and it's another three star. Sneaky, um, which has 85 health and um, nine slots of power. And as you can see, it has only one attachment for a weapon and one for um, a weapon. But I don't like where it's positioned. Um, but maybe it'd be good for a rocket launcher. Who knows? Well, um, I don't think I'll be using it. So these are the four um, the four items that I got. I'm gonna screenshot this. If my oh okay it happened. Um, and I also got 990 of of the currency. Um, okay. So now let's open a regular box that has a crown, um, which I'll open for 10 gems. And yes, I did buy um, some gems. So I can do this because I spent my gems way too quickly. The ones that I got free from the game. Okay. Oh, we got a chainsaw. That's cool. Oh, and this chainsaw has a crown. Oh, that's cool. But it costs ten. Oh, I don't even. I don't think I have any bodies that will, you know, are capable of holding that. We got a stinger. It requires six power, and but it has twenty-one strength. That's decent. Um, a drill at twenty-nine and six. A Titan at three and oh this one it has ten slots so it could take a blade but it could take two weapons um, as you can see and one attachment so that's kind of cool and let's screenshot that if my tablet would do it um, okay let's collect our prizes and now let's open this one yes this one costs more but we'll get eight parts um, Super box. Okay, with Bigfoot, five stars and 60 health. That's good. Because uh, I think the, uh, the biggest Bigfoot I had was like 45 health. Okay, Stinger, six and 21 um, strength. Rocket, 28 and eight. Hmm. Laser, um, 25 and six. Um, roller, 25 health and chainsaw. Okay, classic body. That's 10. Ooh, a surfer. Plus 20 health to scooter. What is scooter? I like how many atta weapon attachment it has, but it doesn't have any square ones. So let's take a picture of this. Collect my prizes. And we still have a minute. Okay, so while that is coming down, because I'm not going to spend a gem on that, let's see. Um, no, that's not the one we got. Um, they're labeled new. See, this one has the, the, body, the weapon attachment kind of low. Like, ideally, I would like two weapons and a slot for a square attachment. Ideally. 
This one, it just has two weapons. I bet it does plus 22 at laser. See, this other, um, this other bark launcher that I had was uh, 32 strength, but 9 um, power, and this one's 28 and 8. So, I mean, depending on the body that you're using, it might be better to use a different one. Okay, we got another blade. But as you can see, they're not all built the same. So this is one that I just got, um, which is 40 and 10. Oh, and here's the lasers. And um, this is one I already had, 34 and 8. And this is a new one, 25 and 6. So this one's... Eh, I mean, you can upgrade it and it'll become on par with it. And yeah, let's see. Stinger... Uh, let's put a smaller wheel on the back. I like whenever you put it like that on a titan, it just kind of tilts backwards a little bit. And maybe the forklift won't bend me down. Oh look, it's ready! Ta-da! Regular blacksmith! Okay, we got a drill. We got a blade. Uh, 24 and 7. We got a boulder, a laser with a crown, 44 and 9. Oh, that, I think that's stronger than the other one that I had. Cool, let's screenshot this. Delayed reaction. That's very cool. So I have to, you know, play around with, um, you know, with my setup, uh, try to Try to be a little bit stronger um, and, you know, do things a little bit smarter, especially to be able to progress in the game. It's already, you know, being very competitive. And one of the things, you know, key things that I do see is that it is very much pay to win. If you want to progress quickly at the beginning, you need the best attachments. And I mean, as you get up on the different stages, you will unlock more powerful things. So right now, if I pull, like I'm not gonna get all of the metal attachments. I didn't get anything metal. So I have to make my way higher to be able to get these attachments to be able to do better in some areas. But um, I just have to fight my way through and see how far I can get. And anyways, that has been sort of some tips, what I've experienced, and just kind of a general overview of the game, which I really like, and I'm kind of obsessed, and I'll continue playing, because the kitties are so adorable. Oh my gosh. And until next time, meow meow.